2,800 five pounds. Rear kitchen heart pod just came in here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Basically, previous owner had uh, the idea they're going to jet set all across the country. They're going to do some full time travel in this for a little while and found it to be just a little too small and swapped up to something just a little bit larger to get them across that comfort hump while still maintaining a small, easy towing camper. Uh, it's definitely had some fun use to it, but I don't really see a whole lot that concerns me here. Overall, it looks pretty good if you're looking for a small, very lightweight, um, you know, narrow body, not intimidating towing kind of camp right here for singles or couples. I think this is a solid little option here and doesn't ever seem to hurt anybody's feelings that it's not a new RV price tag, does it? And despite being only six and a half foot wide and having a slide out, it's actually pretty easy to navigate this RV with the slide closed. In fact, it's fully turtle friendly and functional. You don't really lose anything with the slide closed. You just gain stuff when the slide opens. You want to get to all the kitchen, uh, the front bed there, the bathroom, all your storage. Everything is accessible. Maybe not as convenient as when the slides open, but it is functional. Now when that slide opens up, you see that that bench becomes a U-lounge, which is cool. And that free floating table obviously gets out of the way for transit, but it could easily... Uh, it actually helps this thing function. You can convert this into a sleeper, which is neat because this R-Pod actually has one of the largest seating and guest sleeping areas of any R-Pod, uh, at least built during this time period. Or you could take it outside for like picnic time, and yet within the slide, there's full overhead storage, which is kind of nice. A uh, full-size roof air also is a, uh, I mean, you'll be breathing icicles in here if you want to. All LED lights. Um, the uh, roof of this is laminated. This is an all-aluminum skeleton product. There is no... Uh, rubberized roofing on it. It actually has a one-piece front-to-back fiberglass sweep, which is a little different, kind of cool. Now up here, we've got our uh, east-west kind of camp queen bed shoved up into the corner. If you want a little trailer, uh, this is just kind of how the bedding arrangement's got to go, but you see how the TV kind of swings around to face either the bed or the dining. And up here, we have our Bluetooth stereo. Now below that, uh, we have a closet which is nice. Little campers like this often don't have closet with good dedicated dresser space. But what's kind of cool is you get in it and you go, huh, what's that switch for right there? That is our little bathroom light. Or you can have it as a night light because there's enough of a gap up here. It'll cast enough light into the RV to see what you're doing at night without blinding you. Up top, we've got a larger vent fan for some superior airflow. And just like there's an outside switch for that, there's an outside switch for the fan over here that'll kick on anytime that vent is open. Uh, you can see this is what's called a wet bath. Very similar to like a truck camper where you have a kind of a, a bathroom and a shower combo. And I like what the previous owner did there. Those little wood slats, they allow that, uh, you know, soapy water to drain off you and go down into the drain without like being slippery. And that's a little corner sink up there, by the way. I had somebody call that a urinal once. That's not what that is. It's <laughs> I'm just kind of, I'm just going to leave it at that. Um, coming around the corner here, we've got good pantry space, which again is something little campers often lack. And especially with this being a rear kitchen model, a kitchen centric floor plan, it's awesome that they have good kitchen storage space, but they also have good kitchen counter and appliance space. Uh, like you see, there's two sets of household outlets there and lots of counter space above the, the triple drawers and double cabinets. And then of course, they kind of polish off the rear wall with that window so you can see what's going on on your campsite. Over here we have, you know, our microwave and our fridge, our two biggest appliances, they're in the slide, which means they get out off the floor plan, and that is a three-way fridge. It is 12 volt, 110, and propane, so you can always have it running some way, shape, or form, no matter where you're at or how you're camping. And if you watch any of my videos, you know that if I see something, I say something. As I was taking these cushions off to run the slide back in, because these lower bench sections actually don't move, I noticed that the, the fascia plate under the refrigerator here, I, I'm going to guess something, some kind of cargo got behind it, and it's, uh, technically speaking, it's a little jihad. It probably just needs screwed up and tightened back in place. So it's, it's okay, but if I see something, I say something. This is literally the most pickiest thing I can say about this camper, and I don't really think it's that big of a deal, but it's not my money that's in question, is it? It's yours, and you just deserve to know the facts. You might notice that green bag thing leaning against the tire right there. What is that? Well, this uh, RV, the shape of it, kind of precludes it from having a traditional awning. So there's a C channel up top here. 
And that is a uh, almost like a pop-up kind of, um, like it's a tent screen room. That's the easiest way I can describe it accurately. It's a tent screen room that you can put on there if you want to. Nothing says you have to. The magnet holdbacks make uh, getting in and out of these compartments easy. And what's also kind of cool is you can see that we've got a uh, great outside storage compartment here. And I'm actually starting to get rained on a little bit. I am going to have to pick up the pace. Apologies. Um, we have a six and a half foot wide narrow body, which a normal RV is eight foot wide. So this is a foot and a half thinner, which means you can easily, easily see around the thing. And the dead giveaway to that is the fact that it has the uh, uh, wheel wells outside of the body of the RV. Previous owner upgraded to a uh, larger double propane tank system and a simple battery disconnect right here. And there's actually two of these little uh, hose caddies I've seen them add on here. So they must have had like one for their sewer hose and one for maybe just extra storage or something like that. The skin and the decals all look good as we're dodging these raindrops here. And pardon me, I'm doing my best to kind of shield the camera as we go. And Handy full outside utility shower above our cable, satellite, and power hookups so that uh, you can do some easy campsite cleanup kind of stuff. Now, a neat thing they do on these is instead of just a, uh, a rear bumper or whatever, they do a rear class two receiver, which is a one inch receiver hitch. So uh, right now it's in spare tire carrier mode, but if you wanted to make it a bike carrier and do something else with the spare tire, you could. Another neat thing on this, it is exactly 20 feet tip to tail from the back of that rear wall to the tip of that tongue is 20 feet on the nose which is a neat little target it makes everybody feel a little bit more comfortable there and if you have a shorter wheelbase vehicle it means that the trailer's not going to push and sway around now i gotta get the camera out of the rain here because i didn't come prepared this is kind of a bit of a surprise so give us a call we do it all at Halet rv take care stay safe have fun happy camping everyone